let's talk about the brand kit feature that comes with Canva. And whether you are on Canva's free account or on a pro account, you will see a brand kit option listed here. Your ability to take advantage of all the features of the brand kit is going to depend on which type of account you have. If you have a pro account, you'll be able to use all of the features. Unfortunately, if you are on a free account, you won't, but I'm going to give you an overview of what you can do here so you know how to use it. So let's go on over to the brand kit and what you'll see is that it's broken down into three primary areas, your logos, your colors, and your fonts. If you're on a pro account, this is a wonderful feature because it just makes it so much easier to make sure that all of the graphics and materials that you are creating with Canva look consistently on brand and they don't look like a template. You really want to make sure that your designs are not looking cookie cutter. You want to make sure that they are uniquely identifiable as belonging to your brand. And one of the best ways to do that is to be really consistent with your usage of your logo, your colors, and your fonts. So if you do have the pro account, you can click on the plus sign here and upload your own logos. You can also create your brand color palettes here. What you will find is if you're on the free account, you're not able to upload your logos here and you're only able to add three colors. Now that might be enough for you. If you only have three colors within your brand palette, you are gonna be totally fine. But in my case, I have multiple ones. So in order to take full advantage of this, I really do need the pro account. And then over here under brand fonts, if you are on the free or the paid account, you will be able to set your brand fonts for your headings, your subheadings, or your body copy. However, if you are on the free version of Canva, you're going to be a lot more limited in terms of the options for your fonts. You're going to have just the default fonts to choose from that come with the, the Canva Pro account or rather the Canva free account. On the Pro account, you're going to have a much wider range of fonts to choose from. You'll see all of these ones that have the little crown symbol. These are only ones that are available on a Canva Pro account. Additionally, if you have a Pro account, you can upload your own fonts. This is going to be necessary if your brand fonts that you use are not Google fonts that come with Canva's default account. And you don't want to be just choosing whatever font they have if it's not consistent with the branding fonts that you use throughout your other materials. For me personally, the ability to have full use of this brand kit is worth the paid membership all on its own. But that said, there are a lot of other benefits that come with having a pro account, including the ability to resize designs easily, the ability to download transparent images, amongst a whole lot of other features like unlimited folder organization and that sort of thing. So if you do have the Canva Pro account, play with this. You'll have the ability to use all of these features. If you do have the free account, you can still set your brand fonts as long as your fonts are in the default fonts that Canva provides. And you'll be able to set brand colors, but a limit of three of them. Now, if you want to apply the Canva brand kit, you would simply open up your design that you want to use it on. Let's go to... Oh, let's choose something very simple in this case. I'm just going to choose a wedding Instagram post. And let's say I wanted, I'm going to ungroup these elements. Let's say I wanted to change the fonts to my own brand font. I can do that. And suddenly it starts looking a lot more on brand with what my other designs look like. And this is very plain in color. I'm going to introduce my brand colors into it as well, which you'll find on the side here already preset for you. So we'll start changing these a little bit. And I could change these elements as well. Oops. All right. It's a pretty sparse design. I probably wouldn't choose this because it's not really in line with my own branding, but you can make it more on brand by introducing some of your brand imagery. So for example, I might want to go to one of the Kate Max images that I use on a regular basis. Let's pull that into the background. And I could send that backwards until the other elements come out. And I could make this back here, 
transparent. Uh, I won't do that because actually I will. I'm going to get rid of those lines altogether. There you go. So now I've taken a template. I've changed the colors to my own brand colors using the branding kit. I've changed the fonts to the branding kit and suddenly you can see how a template starts looking a lot more on brand simply by consistent use of your brand kit.